Now, Rachel Garceau with the On Your Side forecast. It is 649. Happy Wednesday morning. Thanks for being with us on this Independence Day morning. And it is a pretty beautiful start across the region, though it looks a little different right here on our Tower Cam Network than we did 24 hours ago. Haley, you're still nice and clear this morning. We're not seeing much cloud cover at all here in the Wood River Valley. Beautiful start to the day there. Little different in McCall, though. Look at Paya Lake. We have a little bit of overcast here, obscuring the view of the sun from McCall. But we should see plenty of sunshine no matter where you are today as the day progresses. So those mid-level clouds uh, being allowed to be produced by some mid-level moisture will just kind of dissipate as the day goes on. So expect lots of sunshine. Have the sunscreen, the sunglasses, and the cold water handy. We have a very hot 4th of July ahead of us. Now for today, look at the difference in temperatures as you head from one end of the valley to the Magic Valley. It's 60 in Boise right now. 44 is all for Mountain Home. 43 in Twin Falls. 34 degrees for this July morning in Pocatello. And if you're saying, Rachel, is that a little bit colder than we were at this point yesterday? Yes, it is, at least on the eastern side of the state. Pocatello nearly 20 degrees colder than yesterday. But that's where all the kind of that cold air has gone. We have warmer air that will move in for today. In fact, our winds are coming out of the southeast and just the south in general today. And they're very calm right now. I know the wind can be a big concern on the 4th of July. At this point, it looks like we should stay mostly calm, maybe a five to 10 mile per hour wind today. But again, that's about it. Not the breezy to gusty conditions that we had yesterday. All of this courtesy of high pressure that is building into our south. That's what's kind of drawing up this uh, air out of the southwest. It'll allow that hot air to just bubble in, continue to fill in. Here's where those clouds are coming from right now. Also some rain coming in off the coast here. Thanks to this area of low pressure. It's sending a little bit of moisture our way, sending those clouds our way. But again, this is our dominant weather feature. We'll kind of hold this at bay, so we really will have plenty of sunshine during the day today and extreme heat, especially compared to yesterday. Now, if you are in McCall or headed to McCall today to celebrate the 4th, starting off a little cloudy, but ending with sunshine should be some beautiful conditions for the fireworks in McCall tonight. A high of 80 degrees. Tomorrow, 88. We'll start off the morning at 50 in McCall on Thursday. Abundant sunshine across the region tomorrow. Friday, a little bit cloudier, and then we have some changes coming in for the weekend in the form of some cooler air, slightly cooler air. So that'll drop us into the low 80s for McCall on Friday, but still a nice, comfortable couple of days. If maybe you're going to end the week up in the mountains, take the rest of the week off some beautiful weather. Look at the hot conditions, man. This is nothing like yesterday. What a difference 24 hours can make. We're looking at 92 to 93 degrees for most places across the Treasure Valley today. We will see beautiful conditions up in the mountains, highs up around 80 for Idaho City today, 90s over in the Magic Valley, so hot no matter where you are. Hotter still tomorrow. Sunshine and a sizzling high temperature of 101. We just stay hot all the way through next week.